For the second part of the proof of book one, proposition number 28, we still have two straight lines and a third falling on top of those two straight lines. But this time we know that the interior angles on the same side are equal to two right angles. So again, we have these lines AB and CD and we need to prove that they're parallel to each other. But this time we know that this angle here BGH and this angle GHD, these both add up to two right angles. So with this knowledge, we can prove that AB is parallel to CD. So let's first start with book one, proposition number 13, which says that if we have a line and another line cutting that line, so the line AB and EF, we know that the angles formed here, these two angles add up to two right angles. So let's write that, that the angle AGH plus the angle BGH add up to two right angles. And then using common notion number one, which says that things which are equal to the same thing are equal to each other, since these two angles and these two angles both add up to two right angles. We know they have to be equal to each other. So let's write that down. And now that we've written this down, we can notice that the left and right hand side of this equation both contain the angle BGH. So we can use common notion number three to essentially subtract this angle off from each side. And what we're left with is that angle GHD is equal to angle AGH. Or in other words, this angle here, AGH, is equal to the angle GHD. And since these are alternate angles, we know due to book one, proposition number 27, that if the alternate angles are equal, then we know that the lines AB and CD are parallel. So we can conclude now that the line AB is parallel to the line CD, which is exactly what we sought to prove. So we can end with QED.